In this project, we will numerically validate the data obtained by the paper named A Numerical Investigation of the Effect of Surface Wettability on Boiling Curve. As you can see in this slide, we have extracted the figure 2 of the paper, which shows the schematic diagram of the model implemented in the paper and its boundary conditions. As you can see in this slide, we have extracted the figure 8 of the paper, which shows the different heat fluxes of the heat wall based on different delta t's. Now, as was mentioned in earlier slides, we are going to validate the results obtained by the paper, specifically the results obtained for delta t equal to 30 Kelvin. By clicking on the subscribe button, you will be informed about the newest CFD training videos by Mr. CFD. Or if you are watching the training video, click on the Mr. CFD logo and subscribe. Geometry of the project consists of a 2D channel and it is modeled using ANSYS Design Modeler software. The geometry is meshed in ANSYS meshing software and the mesh type used for this geometry is structured. By clicking on check button, uh, you will see that under the console tab, the Fluid software will start to check your mesh for any errors. Now there are several assumptions taken into account in this project. The first one is that the type of our solver is set to be pressure based since we are dealing with incompressible flows. Also for the velocity formulation we have taken the absolute velocity formulation. As for the time study we have selected the transient time study since we are dealing with a time progressing phenomenon. Uh, and under the 2, 2D space section you can see that the software automatically selected planar space. Uh, since our model is in 2D. Uh, also the gravity has been enabled and its value is equal to minus 9.81 in y direction since we wanted to take into account the gravitational and volumetric forces in our computational domain. As you can see after double clicking on the energy button in the appeared box we have enabled the energy equation since we want to uh, account for the for the temperature changes in our computational domain. As you can see in this part, we have selected laminar viscose model since our fluid in our computational domain has no high velocity and its Reynolds number is very low. There are two ways to check that your uh, simulation process have reached convergence. Alongside the checking the residuals reaching and nearing the zero, you may define some report to make sure that an equation have reached convergence. For example, by just right clicking on the report definition, going on the new, you are able to choose between different reports. For example, you can define a mass flow rate report on a arbitrary boundary based on your geometry and your simulation. You are able to see whether this mass flow has reached a constant value or not. If yes, it may be a sign that your simulation has reached convergence but the residual must be checked as well. And in this slide you can easily see the pressure distribution inside our computational domain and you can easily see how the pressure has built up near the heated wall zone. To extract another 2D contour, you just have to change the variable from pressure to velocity as you can see in this slide. Now in this slide you can easily see the velocity distribution inside our computational domain and how the velocity of our fluid has changed after the bubble has moved up. And finally in this slide you can easily see the outlines of bubble and how it has moved from the heated wall section to the upper part of our computational domain. Now as was stated in previous slides about the defined report which calculates the total surface heat flux on the heated wall boundary. Uh, in order to calculate the average surface heat flux you just have to double click on the report button and then in the appeared window just by clicking on the compute button the software will give you the average surface heat flux over this boundary. And finally in this slide you can see that we have extracted the figure 8 of the paper which shows the heat fluxes of the heat boundary over different delta t axes. And in this project, we have validated the results obtained by the paper for delta T axis equal to 30 degrees. And you can easily see the errors we have calculated for our simulation comparing to the results obtained by the paper. Finally, a summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project 
is presented to you in the slide. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. To benefit from Master CFD services, including simulation, consultation, and training, contact our experts via info at mrcfd.com.